I got one good question for you. Do you know that one thing that you need to be focusing on when you hit that 700 credit score and that 800 credit score? And no, it's not a house and it's not a car. It's something else. And I'm going to break it down to you. So with that being said, you already know what time it is. Let's get right into it. What's up, family? I'm back with another one. Hey, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the family. So in today's class, me and my boy Mike, and we're going to be talking about the lessons and mistakes that we made. So you don't have to make those same mistakes and go through those same lessons that we had to go through. This is the reason why we made this channel. This is the reason why we show you the process. This is the reason why we want to give you the game. So you don't have to do the same things that we did. And you have to do to make those same mistakes. So one of the things that you should be focusing on once you get to a 700 credit score to an 800 credit score, once you get to that, we're going to be showing you something. So with that being said, go grab a pen, go get some paper, and you know, you know, hey, we just going to get some water today. This is going to be a good one. Hold on, wait. Hey, my daughter got a quick message for you. Hi, my name's Alani Cousins, and we're the credit family. Peace. Hey, we're the credit family. Sup, sup, what's up? So, you know. If you have a 700 credit score, 800 credit score, or if you don't have it and you work your way up to it, hey, continue working, continue doing the process because it's going to pay off. And some of the mistakes we made when we had it up there, whew, cost us a lot of time, a lot of money, and a lot of tears. Um, <laughs> so I got my boy Mike, and we're going to talk a little bit about our story. It ain't going to be going too much, but what we want to do is explain a little bit about our story and what you should I ain't going to tell you what to do, all right, because I ain't your daddy, I ain't your mommy. However, since we coaches, mentors, and gave you some games, so you have to make the same mistakes that we did, um, we just want to give you a little bit of more information on what you can do when you get to the 700, what you can do when you get to the 800, or you can do um, whatever, right, whatever you want to do, however. Um, so we used, like, we got our credit up, right, and we used our personal credit, and we did – a lot of guaranteeing um, with our credit cards and which would drop our utilization, of course, when you use to invest and do certain things. It hurt us. So, you got something to say, Mike? No, nah, I was going to say, if we had to do it all over again, we'll do it totally different. So what we did was we taught our mentees exactly what we should have known at that time. But it wasn't a lot of people talking like this. It wasn't a lot of people talking about us or really talking about business credit. A lot of people are talking about net 30s and not, a lot of people are talking about um, business credit, but not business funding. Right. So they'll, they'll dress it up and, and all you can get is toilet paper and, and, and stuff and paper, so and paper. paper. Yeah. or something like that. So what happened is I'm, uh, Dave was saying we were telling our stories, but what happened was. Uh, I owned one home and then I got my credit up. Our credit was, you know, high 700s, like 790, 770, stuff like that. I use all my, I use my personal cards, my personal uh, credit cards to buy my second house. And what happened next was crazy, man. The pandemic happened. So while I was getting my third house, my first, my, the tenant in my first house stopped paying, right? I still had a mortgage on my first house, but I own my second house cash. And guess what? Tenant in my second house started paying. I couldn't evict nobody. I couldn't do nothing. But guess what? My cars were maxed out. So I had to make some tough decisions and stuff like that. You know, so what we teach, we, we teach from a level of experience to where we know how to get the money, but we made some mistakes. Dave going to tell you about how utilization probably, uh, you know, you go ahead, Dave. Oh, yeah. Having like, whew. so Mike got high utilization. I had high utilization uh, when I invested into something that didn't work. And we ain't gonna talk about that. But we invested and basically it didn't work and we lost a lot of money. It might lost a lot of money. And it both whew, like it, it, it was just like, man, it's just like it's just a awakening. So if we had to do it all over again, that's we would have did it on business credit cards, right? And then not cost our personal credit because we can basically leverage our credit to get more, you know, credit. But, and then what we're saying is fix up your personal credit, get it to a point where it needs to be and get business credit cards 
and use those business credit cards. So if anything ever happened or any venture or anything you try to do doesn't completely work, then you still have your personal credit and you can still pay back that thing, right? Um, um, pay it down so it's not affecting your personal credit score. So yep. here's an example of um, since we change our mindset, change our focus, change it, we want to share something um, with you and show you the magnitude of how powerful personal credit is once you, when it's done right and what's the possibilities is endless, right? But we're going to show you something real quick. So don't jump off because I know y'all have – I'm playing now. Don't you, y'all know. I know y'all family. Oh, no, don't, don't worry about it. I'll fill the void, Dave. You can go ahead and find <laughs> uh, we're gonna oh, show you. screen. We're going to show you guys a testimony of one of our clients. Y'all seen her already, but she gave us a testimony a while back, and we just want to share it with you guys because um, I think you guys need a little bit of motivation. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> single, was she single mom? Two kids? Single mama, too. Credit team and financially lit family. Can y'all hear it? What's up, credit team and financially lit family? So I'm making this video as a testimonial to my guys, Mike and Dave, with the credit team. So I told them that a uh, long, little quick, little quick um, story. So I found uh, Mike and Dave on YouTube, and you, you all already know there's tons of YouTube. Uh, gurus out here that tell you that they can help you fix your credit, so you can six or nine letters and all this stuff. I reached out to all of them. Let me tell you who called me back and set me up with a Sell you what? <laughs> Sell them six or nine letters. Oh. It was mine. And I talked with them, told them, look, this is what I'm going to do. I'm trying to get into the 800 club and I want to stack the credit cards. I'm about to be, it's about to be a, a year now. And I did exactly that. So when I hit the 800s, <laughs> I called, I called uh, Mike, Dave, one of them, I don't know. And I was crying. And it was like early in the morning. I'm in Vegas there on the uh, East Coast. So I called like, man, I'm in the 800s, all three bureaus, and here's my credit card. Woo! Y'all heard that? <laughs> all right. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? So what Dave, they put out a video like, oh yeah, I'm about to open up a hundred uh, bank accounts. And I'm like, me too. How much I need? Like $50, $100? Hey, close it. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, look, I'm talking about hyper execution, bro. She like, me too. And ain't no nothing. <laughs> she had the credit score. And then once we told her the game plan, it's amazing what execution does. Hey, Dave, I'm about to drop my word. I'm going to drop my phrase. Hey, hey the work works always. If you put in the work, it's going to work. Some of you guys are stuck. This is just for motivation. Let's get to work. Go ahead, Dave. Some, uh, I opened up some checking accounts with the credit unions. Um, shout out to the credit team and uh, Malik for getting me into maybe federal. I put my family on, all kinds of stuff. So these are mixed between credit, regular, my personal credit, and business. I'm going to go through some of my business moments right now, uh, as y'all can see that. that. Some of them I haven't even activated. I, I, I literally wake up at 3 a.m. and so I'm going to apply for something. And also get the uh, the ebook. What's Dave's ebook? Uh, inquiry removal. Apply Call. Apply. Call. <laughs> hey, what is it again, Mike? Huh? Apply. Call. <laughs> hey. Let them see my card now. Ooh. Hey, Max. See that? Uh huh. See hey, Max. That? Navy Federal. See that? Don't go nowhere without that. Gold, Go, baby. If I got it in the business, I got it in the person. Ooh. Business. Hold on. Run it back. Run it back. Run it back. Go back. Go back. Uh, a couple of seconds. She said if she got it in business, she got it in what? Business. Um, you know, so many of them. Personal. Hey, business, I got it in a person. Business. Um, you know, so many of them. Look at that, Costco. And then, oh, that's my old Costco card. And then this one right here. Sheesh. This Costco is well. Costco made our business, so I don't need that one no more. I'm missing a couple of cards. I really am. And also got to be... My favorite store, I'm VIP shopper up in there. See that? VIP. You know, they closed during the pandemic. It's all good. 
Just I put if I'm on, also put my family on. See that? I got the go back to the gold. Rose gold. This is a nice card to have. And all because I ran the play. Y'all watch. All because she did what? Hey, bro, she ran the play. Hey, look. The work works. This is what y'all should be looking forward to. This is y'all in the mind. This is what it's supposed to look like. Mm -hmm. um, it made a bunch of mistakes. Like I'm talking about a bunch of mistakes. And, and we teach our students not to make those mistakes. So definitely tap in if y'all want to know, like, how to avoid those same mistakes that we we made. But go ahead, Dave, my bad. Unless you got some. Oh. All right, yeah, let's get yeah. <laughs> We're going to end it right there because I think uh, the camera lady got excited. Mm -hmm. So. Now, nah, hey, look, now we face to face with the, with everybody. Look, this is what y'all should be looking forward to, man. It's, it's credit is crazy. Like, when you're a kid, your parents probably told you what to do. When you're an adult, there should be nobody telling you what to do. You should be making sound decisions for yourself. And you shouldn't let credit dictate what you're going to take or what somebody else is going to give you. When you walk on the car lot, I don't think I ever, even when I was poor, I never... My dad always bought his cars cash, right? So I never had the feeling of somebody telling me no for a car, but I know some of you guys felt that feeling of somebody telling y'all no for something. When you mm -hmm. got good, you ain't got to worry about that no more. That That's but that's on the Ooh. back of your head. Hey, hey, when you get the nod, boy, it's just like, ah, oh, man, I know my credit. <laughs> it's just like, ooh. So. Oh. Hey, when that, when that car started putting, man, I can, I can imagine how it feel. Mm hmm. So it's like, hey, get your credit to where it needs to be so nobody can ever deny you a life. You feel me? You make, so the, you make the decisions. The only time you deny you if you have too many hardened cars, and you know what to do if you have too many. What is that? Pick up the phone? Hey, yeah, call. I'm talking about, or use my seven day hack 24 seven day, 24 seven day. Woo, you got, some, you got some more stuff to say, Mike? Nah, man, it's just just a testament to you, man. Like putting people on. Like I remember trying to struggle to find people who actually wanted to get their credit fixed, but now who want people call us? You know what I'm saying? People people say, "Yo, you changed my life." You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, "That's all I wanted." You know what I'm saying? I'm like, excited, man, bro. That, that's all we wanted, bro. Because when we change our lives, bro, like. We couldn't even tell our family members because they were like, uh, we were like, yo, we just changed our lives with credit. Like, I got a house, I got a car, I got another house and another house. And I'm like, hey, Dave, we on a race, bro. When you got your third one, I was like, hey, bro, I got to step up. <laughs> and then I was like, hey, my dad was like, yo, what do I do? My dad was always had good credit. He just never utilized it. He just sat there at 800. just sat there. You know what I'm saying? I was like, what's your credit score? 800? What are you Bro, we need another house. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Man, I'm, I'm talking about the possibility to the endless, man. It's just what you can do. And yeah, we just want to show you what you can do and how you can leverage it and continue making money and continue just stacking the paper. <laughs> yeah, man. Hey, look, that was just a little motivation for today, but we're going to get back at it and teach y'all some more, man. Yeah. We'll teach y'all something tomorrow.